All right, welcome back to our live Google Plus Hangouts. Uh, we're coming live from the Senior Bowl in Mobile, Alabama. Uh, right now, I'm joined by a very special guest, Oregon offensive lineman Kyle Long. I just want to thank Kyle for stopping by with us, uh, and let's just get started right away. Um, How's it feel to be down here in Mobile, um, competing against you know the top players at each position, and trying to impress the NFL scouts that uh, you can play at the next level? Uh, you know, it's just been a great experience to get down here and be around so many great players. Uh, there's guys you watch on every Saturday. Uh, you know, I've, I've gotten to meet a, a lot of guys that I'm big fans of. You know, have lunch next to Denard Robertson and stuff like that. It's it's a it's a pretty cool situation down here. When did you feel like football could be, you know, something that you got into? I know you started off at, as a baseball player. Uh, you're kind of new to the, you know, you had only played, you know, the second half of the season at left guard. You kind of, compared to some of the other guys here, you're new to it. When did you really, you know, start focusing on football and, you know, think that there's something that you might be able to accomplish? Uh, probably my first year at junior college. Uh, I enrolled at Saddleback College and started out as a defensive lineman. Didn't get a lot of playing time because I didn't really know what I was doing. In the second year, I moved to left tackle and. It was at that point that I started to garner, garner some uh, some respect and some some accolades, and I was offered a scholarship to go to the University of Oregon. Uh, from then, I went to play there, and you know, it's been a process ever since then to try to get better, uh, better and better every day as a football player. Can you just talk a little bit about how it was to play at Oregon and spread, you know, the Chip Kelly offense, the up-tempo pace? Uh, what was asked of you as a lineman in that system? Uh, well, initially, it was a shock to my body because I had never gone so fast uh, at such a high tempo. Coach Kelly demands a lot out of his players, and uh, when you go into a program like that, you learn very quickly that you need to be in great cardiovascular shape. Now, you said you played at left tackle, you played at guard this year at Oregon. Where do you see yourself playing, or where are people saying that, you know, they think that you project as down the road or into next level? Probably somewhere on the offensive line. Uh, I'm not sure where. Uh, I'm just coming out here uh, this week and trying to show people that I have some versatility and I can fill in needs wherever they may be. What do you think your best attribute is as an offensive lineman, whether it's you know strength, smarts, quickness? What do you think you bring to the table that maybe some of these other guys can't do? Um, well, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of great players here with a lot of great attributes. I just feel like one thing that I can contribute to a, to an offensive line is I can set the tempo physically. Um, you know, I like to play with a lot of physicality and uh, tenacity, and that's one thing that I get from uh, growing up in the family that I did. I have an older brother that plays football, and my dad played, and you know physical toughness and uh, you know, just tenacity. Do you think being around the game so much as a younger uh, kid, and, you know, seeing the professional side of it, do you think that might end what your brother does? Do you think that might help you be, be a little bit better prepared than some of these other guys going through this process? To be honest, I didn't really pay attention to a lot of stuff that my older brother and my dad were doing when I was younger in football. I was so immersed in baseball. Uh, it wasn't until the end of high school or middle of high school that I started really focusing on football. So I'm, I'm, I'm behind I'm behind the, uh, the learning curve. What, what do you think your teammates would say about you at last year at Oregon? Uh, if we were to ask, you know, say Kenyon Barner, what type of teammate is Kyle? What do you think they would say about you? Uh, somebody that would go to bat for any one of my teammates. Uh, you know, if, if I'm part of the team, then uh, I'll go to war with those guys. Um, just so much goes on on the field here at the Senior Bowl. What, what do you think that when this week's over with and you look back on it, what do you think you're going to be able to take away from this whole experience? Uh, just down the road, like some of the coaches have touched on here, you know, uh, you'll, you'll see after games on Sundays, guys will come up and shake hands and stuff in midfield, and, the, and there's some strange pairs, you know, a guy from maybe SMU and a guy from, uh, let's say, you know, uh, Maine will, will meet and shake hands and say what's up, and the coach will ask him, you know, how do, how do you guys know each other? And uh, it's from meeting at the Senior Bowl. You know, I've made a lot of great relationships here from, from guys that I would have had no opportunity to meet had I not been here. Now, either at your time at Oregon, junior college even, or maybe even this week, what do you feel like has been the toughest uh, matchup defensively that you've been matched up against either, you know, in practice or uh, in a game? I mean, all these guys are good. Uh, there's a reason they're all here, and it's because they've uh, they've played at an accelerated level uh, an elevated level. And, you know, I... I had the opportunity to play against Deion Jordan, a, a drop end from the University of Oregon, and his combination of speed, strength, and uh, length will make any offensive lineman's day a very tough one. Um, I think that's just about going to do with our time with Kyle. I, once again, I just want to thank him on behalf of Google and Roster Watch and wish him good luck uh, as he goes on this NFL journey and hopefully um, future success. Thank you, Mike.